All right, guys, what's going on? So I have a box here, and I know this is from Tony, my friend Tony, and I only know that because I knew I was getting this, and I also, um, it says his name on here. So, the blade, we've got it back. It's not back, this is not the original one. If you guys watch older videos, I think it might be on my other channel, to be honest with you, uh, older videos, um, you can you can see all this stuff and um, the blade and all that good stuff. So, oh my gosh, we got a lot of cool stuff in here. Okay, where do we start? Where do we start? I think we start with this. So I'm going to show you guys a little preview and you guys got to guess and see if you know what it is. There we go. So these are all figures, by the way. If you guys know me, you know that I collect figures. So yeah, but we've got the new... Legends Undertaker, which is super cool. So, cool thing about this is I think I was there uh, for this moment. This is when Undertaker won the, the title um, the night after WrestleMania 13. Um, the only complaint I have about this figure is the gloves. They're not correct, but hey, you know what? We'll live with it. So we got the Undertaker in here. Um, we've got... Because I have the Chase version. I bought the Chase version. We've got Sting's first All Elite Wrestling figure. And of course, we've got the Baseball Bat, which, by the way, guys, Jazzwares totally blows WWE and Mattel out of the water with their bats. Like, the Mattel bats all bend in half, and it's just not good. So we've got the Baseball Bat here. By the way, epic match that could have taken place that never did and makes me very sad. We've got... Chris Jericho, um, Chris Judas, as um, Dan Housen likes to say. Um, this is, I think this is the first Chris Jericho. This is wave one. Um, Chris Jericho, super cool, love that. And I love that this scarf is real versus like some weird like, um, uh, like plastic like the WWE's uh, uh, Mattel has done. Um, I like the, the real plastic, the real um, soft goods. That's what I'm trying to say. Words are, th are hard. And then, <laughs> we go, okay, hold on. Let me take a couple things out of here. And then Chris comes with the AEW title, which uh, this is my third AEW title, and I think we should uh, maybe customize this one, if you know what I'm saying. Um, then finally, my favorite figure that I've been looking forward to for like ever Ever since it was announced, I believe WrestleMania they announced it. Maybe last year they announced it. I don't remember. But we've got the one, the only, Brother Love. And I love that. Uh, love Brother Love. Um, if you guys listen to his podcast, um, Something to Wrestle with Bruce Prichard, super good. Super good podcast. Um, also, these did come out of the box. These, these are Lucy. Um, who's Lucy? Uh, because of, uh, oh, that is so odd. Okay, and now I know what they're talking about. So, I'll talk about it in the review. I'm gonna do a review on my figure channel of these, but um, <clears throat> ever since this was announced, I really, really was like, I gotta get that figure. Plus, with the new uh, Ultimates coming out for Survivor Series, this is a good thing to have. We've got his weird, oh, that's diff, that I did not know. So, it's silver, which is cool. Um, we've got his flashlight slash microphone. This is kind of like a half figure review in this video, but whatever. Um, we've got his microphone, and still in the butt in the package is the oh, is the book of love. Now, the only thing that would have made this book of love like a little bit cooler to me, um, but I understand. Like this thing is like legit, so cool. Um, the only thing that I would have done for the book of love differently is I would have like tried to make it open unless it does and I just don't yeah it doesn't open but like look at this thing this the the book of love is legit I love that that's like a nice little piece and honestly I agree with Matt and Brian and and uh, Mark um, we'll probably never get another uh, brother love figure there's just not enough like there is some flaws with this one but I don't think Mattel will rectify those um, unless we get him in the legends greatest hits a little bit better um I, I don't know but i think like that's just my opinion um so a couple little scrapes and scraps but 
still really cool. And I think maybe like because we've got so many accessories with, with uh, Brother Love is why some of the stuff is skimped out on. But we've got his glasses, those nice, they're supposed to be red tinted, I believe, but those, those nice glasses. Um, there we go. That's perfect. Oh my goodness, that is perfect. Then he's got the book of love with him. Oh gosh. And plus he's got the, um, the Randy Orton kind of hands, which he did use. So I don't know if you guys see this. Got the Randy Orton hands, um, which is really cool. So Tony, shout out to you. Let's make sure there's nothing else hidden or buried in the box because sometimes that does happen. Um, thank you so much for all this. It's really, 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 really appreciated. Um, so yeah, thanks so much. Um, this is the best birthday box ever. So again, we've got Taker, new legend series. I believe this is 18 um, or 19. And then we got Jericho from series one. We've got Sting from series, I don't know, his first figure. Um, and then Brother Love, super cool, super cool. So yeah, thanks Tony so much. All right guys, so got that unboxed. Um, I have a little bit to do today. Uh, it is noon, I just got home. I had to drop the kids off um, to their dads and now I have to do some stuff at my house before tonight because I'm gonna go hang out with Hannah for my birthday. Tonight's gonna be, gonna be my birthday celebration because I have to work on my birthday. Um, so that kind of stinks, but we'll get it taken care of. Um, but I, have, I need to make a list of things that I really need to do um, before I go. Um, and just, yeah, that's what I need to do. But I'm going to eat lunch first. I'm going to make like a little steak, egg, and cheese kind of a deal because I have a little bit of leftover steak um, from a Philly cheesesteak I made. So I'm going to make a Philly cheese, a little like a steak, egg, and cheese because I, that sounds really good to me. Um, so I'm going to make that, eat that, and then go and do my stuff that I need to do for the day. So I have until about 6 o'clock, so I have plenty of time to do everything that I need to do. And then I can do stuff tomorrow as well when I'm done um, with doing some stuff. So, yeah and Sunday morning, which I need to leave. I'm trying to figure out what time I want to leave. I'm probably going to leave at like 8 or 9 Sunday morning, so yeah.